The annual Monaco Historic Bobsleigh Race goes to St. Moritz, Switzerland, and what a lineup of competitors. Okay, a great selection of Olympic medalists, Rado Gochi from Lillehammer, silver medal. Silver medal in Salt Lake in 2002. The president of the FIBT, Ivo Ferriani, Prince Albert, four Olympics. Five, five, five Olympics, Olympics five, five Olympic medals. <laughs> Christoph Long and gold medal in 98, gold medal in 2002. Brian Scheimer, bronze medal in 2002. Marcel Rohner, silver medal in Nagano. Bruno Manjon, bronze medal for France in 1998. Prince Albert, you are here with a very selective group. I feel very humbled. I, I don't think I belong in this uh, array of great champions but uh, no but it's great to be here and it's great to it's great to see old friends great to uh, uh, steer these old sleds down the hill again well good luck in your race tonight gentlemen may the best man win so on the historic track the first one down of course prince albert grimaldi five-time olympian driver for monaco and they drive these old historical sleds down the track. It is really amazing. His great friend, Yves Paget, is riding behind him. And through the snake curve, look at these pictures. Driving these old sleds. This is what it used to be. Christoph Langen, double Olympic gold medalist, looks on. Last, Prince Albert's threw him down. The first of 12 of these historic sleds that come down. Ivo Ferriani, the president of the FIBT. He comes down, he cannot match Prince Albert's time, but look at the lineup. Christian Reich from Switzerland, Olympic silver medalist in Park City. Then you have Rado Gochi, the Olympic silver medalist in two man in Lillehammer. Then Long and two gold medals in 20 and 98 and 2002. Then Brian Scheimer, he had his bronze medal in Salt Lake. And then Marcel Rohner had his silver in Nagano. And then Eckhart Fasser, the gold medal in Calgary in 88. They all come down. Total time, one run. Now they switch. Now do they go to this new innovation in bobsledding, the model bob. And Prince Albert, who has not driven a sled in a long time, he flies down the track. A lot more speed. This is the future of the sport. I asked Albert about his first ride in a number of years. Prince Albert, when was the last time that you drove a, a real bobsled? Uh, it was uh, January of 2003, where I, I was forerunner for the S Swiss Championships here, right here in St. Moritz. And then this model bob, you, I can't believe you went down. I mean, is it a different feel or the same feel as a two-man? Uh, it's a, a bit of the same feel. I mean, you feel that it's lighter and it's a little shorter and it's... Uh, uh, kind of quicker take-ons, but um, and so of course the the di difference of speed with the fire robins is tremendous. How about the collection of Olympic medalists you had up there? Oh, it's unbelievable, and uh, it's it's been like that almost every year. Five five to ten uh, former champions, and and it's just a great camaraderie, and uh, it's great to be here in St. Moritz. <laughs> Prince Albert just drove the Mono Bob. You're very involved with this Mono Bob development. What did you think about driving this sled? It's fantastic as for us. It's a huge pleasure. And then I think we must now grow in and develop this project for the future. Project for developing young guys and then to have come to have back home some good guys. <laughs> no, I don't say old, but just good. Okay. <laughs> It's very nice that he didn't say old old guys, you know. Yeah, but because <laughs> we are the same age almost. Okay. <laughs> great fun but the race continued it's a combination of, of the historical bob and these model bobs all said and done Mark out of great britain best all of the rest of the field of 12 it was a great monaco historical weekend here in san moritz Mark out on his 50th birthday weekend wins the monaco historical race